Hello, welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. We're back in Foundry BTT. This is, yes, it is Curse of Strahd, but we're not doing Curse of Strahd. Um, little tips video for you. Uh, lightning. So we've got lots of things like FX Master and stuff that can help with weather and stuff like that. But what I particularly wanted for this scene was the ability to do a lightning strike um, as part of this. Not actually a bolt on there. So let me show you what I've got. You see I've got a button on here now. And when I click lightning it does this. That, that's it. That's all it does. So we get kind of the flash of lightning and we also get that sound of thunder in the background which was quite important. So I just wanted to really show you how I did it. Um, because there wasn't a... I'm not aware of a module that is going to make that really easy for us but to be honest it's, it's straightforward. So first of all obviously Monk's active tile trigger is what I'm using here um, and what that's doing is powering a light that I've got top right all the way over here that I've got just off of scene. So if I open this up um, I've made this large so it covers the entire scene um, and uh, I've got it not constrained by walls. I don't have walls on this particular scene but I don't want it constrained by walls anyway and I changed the light color to make it quite white I mean obviously you can change that to whatever works for you if you want red lightning blue lightning whatever it might be I just want this kind of white intense and I put that color intensity right the way up for this under the light animation I selected torch if I just turn this on you'll see it does flicker a bit which is good uh, and I've whacked up the animation speed and intensity right the way up so you can see it's kind of flickering obviously the duration's too long but it's flickering like lightning nice and easy and I selected torch because it does give us a good flickering under the advanced options uh, I left it as adaptive luminescence but I did turn the luminosity up slightly now you can play with these there's yeah not so much uh, obviously not so much um, you know this might be an effect you're after uh, natural light um, you know internal halo that's not really doing it for me whatever's going to work for you have a, have a look at it that's the yeah I prefer this one I think this one works for me so that's all I've got on here for my light so that's just going to sit there and do that the whole time the power behind it of course is as always monk's active tile trigger so if I look at this button here it's not doing a lot all I've got for the setup for the active tile trigger is the GM clicks on it like a lot of my buttons uh, I want it to activate now I have obviously used tagger because it's in this game um, and all I'm doing is saying activate that light that's just off screen you, you can obviously see it's still flashing wait for now the actual instruction is delay actions it says wait on here if you go through the menu you're looking for wait you won't find it delay actions by 0 0.2 seconds was about right and then deactivate that light again. So it turns it on, turns it off. Um, and then I've got it to play a sound file of just thunder behind that. And of course, I could adjust the volume if I wanted to. I've got this turned up uh, quite high. I want it to make the players jump slightly as it suddenly goes off. Uh, so that's all it is. Activate the light, wait a brief period of time, deactivate the light again, and play that sound file now of course what you could do if you wanted that lightning to sound like it's coming from further away is you could put another delay in here before it plays the sound file you know um, you know up to even a couple of seconds um, you know so like yeah the storm is a way off it's not right here um, that's not what I've done so uh, obviously my button is still active if I click again it will turn it off because it tried to turn the light on but it was already on so I end up with this effect really simple uh, and of course you could have different lights from different angles you could have multiple buttons for different delays if you wanted like the storm approaching through the scene you could have one where there's a big delay before the sound uh, and then a shorter delay and then immediately like I've got here however you want to do that but it just creates a little bit of act, act, extra atmospherics um, for certain areas so I am going to be using this um, several times this technique several times throughout this but at very particular points um, I don't want to overuse it 
uh, and I will adjust like the position of the light. I will find some additional thunderclap sounds so it's not all exactly the same. So the road up to Strahd's castle, for example, is a good place to have a, another duplication of this. But anyway, just a short little video just to show you that little, little tip there that uh, you might find just adds a little bit of extra ambiance to your games. Cheers. Take care.